man. Oh, man. Man, we didn't act like that just started. They've been doing that for years. Yeah. Right. <coughs> now they just want to speak out because they're trying to condemn it. Well, well, they're trying to get the race war started. Yeah, I mean, that's the so-called Jews behind the media. Yeah, it's their media. But see, the Jew didn't plan, didn't plan on Jake to start knocking out Jews. <laughs> because you know, that's who they're starting to get now. You see that? Some uh, Orthodox rabbi got knocked the fuck out. I saw that they had their own special ambulance and hospital that came and took that devil up too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See, uh, see, cause the so-called Jew think think that he uh, he's that he's on the side of the black man. He thought all the black people never fuck with us. Mm -hmm. so we'll just get him to kill all these Irish people. Right, right. They, they, well, see what they want to do. Where they, where's their hood at? The, uh, these Jewish rats hood at? They right got, in the center of uh, Jake. That's how they control us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They right. control right. us better right. when they buy it. Right there in yeah, Bexley. Yeah, Bexley. Bexley. That's in the center of the When I, I had to move out there. Hood on all sides. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm oh, like, yeah. God damn. I will ride in Bexley, then literally just go two, three blocks up. Mm hmm. And That's how like, they control us. Like, goddamn. <laughs> that total, no, total, that total was like a different dimension. Yep, yep. Well, don't drive, don't drive through back. Don't be hanging out there too long. They will, they will, they will, they will, they will call the cops on your ass, they you. and they will get you. I hate driving through Bexley. Yep. And they hate seeing you in Bexley. They hate, yeah, even yep. me. They yep. see me. They don't like me up right. in there. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I got them so-called Jews. They give me dirty looks all the time. Yep. But, but another thing I was about to say, like they got. They did bring a lot of these Mexicans in, who are Israelites, and all these Central Americans in, and they trying to uh, bring them against the black people and get, because the Mexicans hate black people. You know that, right? I know that. I know that. For the most, because they got race uh, rights breaking out in schools, and that's all the, that's all divide and conquer that this devil's using against us, man. That's that's where the whole divide and conquer shit come in at. It is always working. It's still working now. And but the spirit of the Lord is gonna put the spirit in these people that's gonna wake most of them up anyway. The race war, man, it's gonna be motherfucking Israel against these other nations here. That's personally how I see it coming out, man. Oh, you yeah. might see a few Oh, you'll have that, but Jake's fighting, but you're gonna see the majority of it is gonna be these be four like Jakes that's living in the inner city. They're gonna be going to these suburbs, man, and going even further. Shit, around. it's gonna be like the French Revolution out there this motherfucker. Yep, yep, yep. They get heads are gonna be getting chopped off, cops gonna be getting killed, judges getting put to death. It's gonna be a beautiful sight. The, the courtroom could get burnt to the fucking ground. Mm -hmm. The state house is gonna get burnt to the ground. Yep. And that's gonna be beautiful. They're gonna lynch these politicians here, man. They're gonna lynch them literally. And the politicians deserve to get lynched. Mm -hmm. all, all they do is rob your ass, take all your money. And, and these people out here still talking about voting. These motherfuckers right. are gone. They still that, that shit been proven that shit don't count so many hey, times. These people are stupid. Man. That shit been proven for years that shit don't count. If you a retard, then the retard is just gonna continue to keep voting, man. You know? Well, it doesn't matter if the votes count or not anyway, because the, for the presidential election. The people do not elect a president. The electoral college elects a president. So it doesn't even matter who wins the popular vote. The electoral college elects a president because they don't trust you motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> they make sure the right man gets picked for the job. They make sure. They make sure. They make Barack sure. Obama was the right man for that job, okay? Yep. He, he's a perfect goy slave. <laughs> Here you go, this is the second there's a fucking 15, hand might. 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Oh, Barack Obama, he, he's one of those, uh, one of them shepherds in uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest one of them all. They, they, they said that he's the black Jesus. Like they call him black Jesus. Yeah, right, right. They said Barack Obama was the new Messiah. He was the Messiah, the chosen oh, wow. one. They do say that because they replaced the picture of the white Jesus with him. Or they what? put him up next to the white Jesus, you know. That's I've seen that. I've seen that. And Barack Obama, alone, he supports faggots' rights. He claimed to be a Christian, but he out here saying we got to accept faggots. What kind of sense does that make? Hey, the scripture says, follow not in the way of the heat. And we got to let a woman have the right to choose to murder her baby. What shit is that? Because Barack Obama supports abortion and faggots. That's all I need to know. You, you can stop right there. I don't need to know n nothing, else. nothing else. That's all I need to know. Because we, we could go on for days about the atrocities committed by fucking Barack Obama. 
<laughs> and that ugly ass bitch of his. Yeah, right. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Yeah, because America, America is spiritually known as Egypt. And Egypt in the Bible is known as the house of bondage. That's why America was founded by slavery. When America was first formed, all these black people were in slavery. And what's on the back of a dollar bill is an Egyptian pyramid. All right, because uh, in America, they put... Hold on. Oh, back ass photo America is the house of bondage, just like Egypt is the house of bondage. And you're all fucking slaves. And you ain't going to do shit about it either. Hey, give me a Deuteronomy 26 and 6. We all thought America was a great Christian nation. If America was a Christian nation, why is there an Egyptian pyramid? The, the Egyptians, they worship bulls. They worship cocks. They worship cats. They had sex with crocodiles. All the pharaohs married their sister. They was all, look it up. It's all, that's, all the pharaohs were inbreds. The American the dollar bill has a pyramid on the back of it. That's because America was founded by Freemasons, the devil worshipers. Same. Thomas Jefferson, you celebrating the 4th of July? Thomas Jefferson said the Bible was a joke. He said the Lord never rose from the dead. All right? He said the Lord never healed nobody. Same as their beloved Roman, Roman emperors, too. They, right, there's pagans. And shit. Fucking animals and shit. Y'all celebrate freedom. Y'all celebrate freedom. But on the back of that dollar, there's that Egyptian pyramid. And on the front of the dollar is George Washington. And George Washington owned over 300 slaves. That's a fact. Y'all talking about freedom. Fuck America. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 26 and 6. Yep. Deuteronomy 26 and 6. And the Egyptians evil entreated us. Read that real loud, bro. Deuteronomy 26 and 6. And the Egyptians evil entreated us. The Egyptians evil entreated us. So why is there a pyramid on the dollar bill? Why is there the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C.? Why, why, why does that exist? That's an Egyptian obelisk. The Washington Monument, if you people, you're so dumb, you probably don't know what that is. But there's this thing in Washington, D.C. called a Washington Monument. <laughs> it's an Egyptian obelisk, and it represents Osiris, the Egyptian god's penis. Look it up. What is it, phallic or phallic? It's a phallic symbol. Because America is spiritually known as Egypt. That's Latin. Yeah, I think. Oh, uh, go ahead. And afflicted us. I think so. And laid upon us hard bondage. So, yeah, Amer America represents bondage and slavery. America was founded on slavery and genocide. Yeah, that's a fact you can't deny. There ain't nothing but bloodshed and robbery all through America's history. There ain't one single good period of American history. Now one. Nothing but death and destruction caused by America. Yeah. Well, goddamn America. Goddamn the 4th of July and goddamn your fireworks. I hope them fireworks fuck up and go into the crowd and blow everybody up. That's what I hope happens. That's the wicked. <laughs> well, it, hey, only the wicked's gonna be down there watching that shit. Only a fool will go downtown and watch some fireworks. Look at the pretty lights. You got more of that, brother? So simple. You people are so simple. That was it. Okay, here you go. This is uh, Exodus uh, 1 and 13, um, 12. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. To serve with... The Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. And all your lives is bitter with hard bondage. And not only America was founded by slavery, but still to this day, you're all slaves. You work six, seven days a week. You get your check, then half your money's missing. The government done took over half your check. They take over 40%, okay? They take all your money, then you gotta pay taxes. Then, then you gotta, if you're a man, you gotta pay child support to one of these nasty ass hoes. <laughs> so by the end, you ain't left, left with nothing. 
then gas costs, what, $4 a gallon. You can't afford to drive while all the oil company executives are driving uh, limousines and riding in yachts, laughing at your punk ass. Nasty bitches. Hey, I, the, these rich people are laughing at you fools. Yeah, you're a bunch of fools. And the, and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was rigor. Well, Ray, that's why we serve a rigor to this day. You work hard as hell every week. Everybody lives paycheck to paycheck. Nobody has no goddamn money. But you, you like it that way. That's the way you prefer it. You like being broke, okay? You got any more to that? Uh, yeah, this is Judas 5 and 11. We've been in Judas for a while. Therefore the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt suddenly with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and made them slaves. Made them slaves, that's America. Slavery is the American way. Did you know that slavery is the American way? To be a great American means you embrace slavery and you embrace death and destruction. A bunch of dumbass people. Gonna, hey, they're going to celebrate some goddamn 4th of July. The hell some 4th of July. It's just a goddamn abomination. Give me a... You about to get some? Get woke to the bloody city, Nahu. Or have a... Uh, yeah, Nahu. You know where that's at, right? Yeah. Uh, one scripture. <laughs> Let me get this one scripture real quick. Fuck America, man. This hole is out by the... By the, by the basket for him, man. About one of these Uncle Tom's probably called the cops on us. Oh, fuck, I'm saying call the cops. I remember that one day we told them if you call the cops, uh, we're gonna curse the cops out when they get here. Rock, rock. And then the cops got there, we cursed them out. <laughs> what was Oh, that was Schiller Park? I can't remember. You looking for that Nahum? No, this is uh, scripture. What's that? I'm looking for that scripture where they say they went down to Egypt and that bad man calling. Oh, that's, Jer uh, that's Jeremiah, that's uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah. Isaiah 32? 30. 30. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we used to bring yeah, that out. Good that's the that's the good best scripture to bring out for them Egyptologists, motherfuckers. So you gotta be stupid to call yourself an Egyptian. Talking about oh, I got the ancient comedic secrets, son. There's one in thirty-one. There's one in thirty. 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 Yeah, well, that whole deal right there is talking about Egypt, because the Israel was actually going to Egypt. What you getting? Which one you getting? 30? I want to... 30 and 1? Hey, get, get, one. get Exodus 20 and 1 while you're getting Exodus that. 20? Exodus 20 and 1. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking for. This is the one, yeah. Did I read that in? Did you? Hold on. No, I didn't know what it is. So. I'll let you get an Exodus 20 and 1 for it. Read it real loud, too, okay, if you can. This is Exodus 20 and 1. And the Most High speak all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. There it goes again. Egypt is the house of bondage. Just like America is the house of bondage. That's why America commemorates ancient Egypt on the back of the dollar with a pyramid. And on top of the pyramid is the all-seeing eye of Horus. And Horus was one of the ancient Egyptian false gods. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. But in America, yeah. The Bible says thou shalt have no other gods. But in goddamn America, you can worship whatever you want. The Church of Satan was founded in America, okay? You got Hindus walk around, filthy, stinking Muslims. You, you let these filthy pieces of shits, these goddamn Muslims walk up and down the street, don't even confront them and say nothing, curse them out. You just let them walk around freely when they want to kill your ass. And I pray these Muslims blow your ass up too. That's why you got all these dumbass hoes going to uh, take yoga classes. That's the new popular thing for a stupid bitch to go do some yoga. I'm gonna go do some yoga, baby. When a yoga, that's some ancient Hindu devil worshiping. 
Hey, that's, that's only something a heathen does. Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Y'all ain't got the covering of the Lord's spirit. We do. That they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down to Egypt. Y'all, y'all fall after the ways of the Egyptians. Keep going. And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Yo, they fall after the Pharaoh. They don't. They don't pray to the Most High. They don't trust in the Lord. They trust in the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh right now is Barack Obama. That's these people's Lord and Savior. They worship this fool. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. They, they, they trust in the lies of America. You know, like we said, America is spiritually known as Egypt. Hey, get that scripture to, just to prove it. Uh, spirit. You're talking about Revelation. Yeah. Revelation, I got it. Because people well, just like, you can't say that. America is not Egypt. That's talking about old Egypt. Yeah. Look at these dumbass bitches. You notice, you notice it said the shadow of Egypt. All the shadow. All the it's the valley of the shadow of death. That's what that's what we living in. I read that real quick. This is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. <coughs> the fuck is that shit? If I was on that, man, I'm glad I'm not on that bus. I'll punch somebody in the face. I get off that motherfucker. Yeah, I get right off that goddamn bus. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Yeah, because America is spiritually known as Sodom. You know what sodomy is? That's another word for being a faggot, okay? For thousands of years, sodomy has been punishable by death. That's only a recent thing where faggots got rights. And it ain't gonna last too long either, I can assure yeah, you. America's not gonna last too long. It ain't, it ain't, America ain't got much time left. Soon all you, according to the words of the Holy Bible, all you faggots, you're gonna get put to death. Right. All you adulterous women are all gonna get put to death. That's right. According to the Bible. That's right. And it's only America that's pushing this shit on its people and on, on the rest of the world. Yep, the rest. That democracy. That, that, them, guys, them people in Africa, they ain't with that faggot shit. Hell no. If you go to Africa, be a faggot in Africa, they'll kill your ass. The Iran ain't with that shit. Yeah, the Iranians will kill your ass if you was a faggot. So, so don't, don't, you faggots better not get too comfortable. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, because they crucified the Lord in America when they said, God bless America. Mm. No, God damn America. Mm. Mm. This, is, this is a nation of filth. It's a, it's a disgrace. It's a, like a pile of dog shit. It, it's worse than dog shit. Right. It's, it, it's like a, it's sewage. It's filth. Oh, man, this is. I can't even come up with the proper words. A disease. It's a, a disease. Cancer. A disease, cancerous pile of filth. Look at that shit. What right the there. fuck was that? Humpty Dumpty on the bike. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I like, no, no, America's Humpty Dumpty. The Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty back together again. <laughs> ain't no glue in this motherfucker. After those missiles hit, ain't no glue in this motherfucker back together. No crazy glue that's strong enough. <laughs> Super glue, what they call it. Yeah, America is Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> Much death and hate. Revelation 12 and 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. <laughs> right, that's talking about, now this, this hasn't happened yet. Right. People will say, oh, that's when Satan got kicked out of heaven. <laughs> no, man, it's a future prophecy. It's in the book of Revelation, talking about the last days. Okay. You've been living in Revelation for a few hundred years now. Right. If that happened back in the beginning, wouldn't it be in Genesis in the beginning? The word Genesis means beginning. But that's talking, this ain't happened because soon when the Lord comes back out of the sky with those chariots, the so called UFOs, then the military is going to try to fight them and they're going to get destroyed. The military, 
Satan and his angels, that's the military. That's the beast. And oh, the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. The old devil, Satan. Oh, y'all ever watch, uh, you ever watch uh, uh, Spartacus on Showtime, I think? Oh, was that on Showtime? That it was like, uh, it was TV pro series. produced by it, Sam Raimi. It was, I think it was on Showtime or I HBO. Think it was HBO. HBO, one of them motherfuckers. But the very first episode, you can look it up on Wikipedia. Get on Wikipedia, look up that show Spartacus, and look up list of episodes. And the name of the first episode is the Red Dragon or the Red Serpent. It's either Red. That that's the Roman Empire. Yeah. That's what Revelation's talking about. Because America is that Red Dragon and that Red Serpent, that old serpent, that devil. That's, that's talking about America. That's your girl right there. Let me see her. Let me get a off Let me get a close. Who's gonna write that bitch? You or me? Who's gonna write that bitch? I got her, I got her, I got her. I gotta got get revenge. Okay. You can have her. Oh, there's a bitch that uh, went nut ate, went nut shit ate. She got on the bus that one day while <laughs> back. That's my girl. Don't we'll talk hey, shit about it. She only a fool for shit. Get out of here with that shit, man. man. You better get back the fuck up, shit, bro. Man. You better pick that up, bro. You come over here. Put, get that shit out of here, man. Out of here, man. Fucking, fucking damn devil. <laughs> Throw it at his ass. What the fuck? Who the hell gonna give somebody a ha ha empty, a half a bag of Fritos? You kind of strong with me. I was <laughs> and the Lord gives us that power, we're gonna kick his ass right in the teeth. Oh, did you watch Game of Thrones? No, I, I never got Oh, you ain't see when my dude on Game of Thrones? That Viking dude, uh, Thor, whatever, he probably that strong, man. He punched his motherfucker in the mouth one time and all of his teeth fell out <laughs> with one punch. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, all his teeth yeah, he out. emptied out his emptied out the whole mouth with one punch. I gotta see that. That's how we gonna do these devils, bro. One punch, bow, and no goddamn teeth left. One fatal blow. Look at all one these faggots, man. They having a good time. Is celebrating their slavery. Go ahead and celebrate your own enslavement. That's what you're doing. You going down there worshiping the beast. You worshiping Satan, giving praise to the devil. Hey, get a get a Revelation 18 and a, a Babylon is fallen. Hurry up and get it quick before these devils leave. I got it. Read it really loud. Revelations 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel. Re return around so that your voice carries. Come closer. down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lighted with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Is fallen. So Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is America. And the Most High is going to destroy America. And it has become the habitation of devils. And the whole, and the whole of every foul spirit, in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yeah, go away. Yeah, we reading the Bible. Something you don't like. No, I have the Bible. I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm sure you are. And they go, they go, Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> he looked like Earnhardt. Having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Keep going. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, because all nations have committed fornication with America. America goes around the whole earth robbing, stealing, Killing. So y'all going to celebrate the Fourth of July to celebrate America's savagery, okay? Because America was founded by slavery. It was founded by genocide. It was found, huh? They know that. Well, I gotta let I gotta let them know. Are they going to celebrate that? Yeah. You know that shit. May you, my let, that one bitch, shit. Yeah, she said she was a Christian. My ass. That bitch will suck. That bitch will line up and suck twenty dicks in a row. I'm talking about she a Christian.
This morning she did that. Right. <laughs> we ain't talking about yesterday or the week before. I've been having crazy dreams about these nasty hoes. Oh, Boy, I'll tell you. Goodness. I, 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 it gets so bad that I'm not even fucking with the hoes in my dreams no more. <laughs> I don't want to catch nothing in my sleep. That's the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. I'll be dreaming thinking I'm going to catch a disease from one of these hoes. There we go. I mean, it is not no exaggeration how nasty these women are, man. You can't I, go opening your legs from one nigga to the next and not expect diseases not to carry up, you know? Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Yeah, they had to call the cops on us, trusting the... Yep. And that's the modern-day pharaoh is the president and all of his goons underneath him. Centurion. You hear that? The centurion. Sound like somebody got black. That's probably a firework. Go ahead. And in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek See, the Lord. They quick to call the police on you, especially these nasty ass hoes. You yell at a bitch. So call the cops on you. You know what I'm saying? But they, they didn't think to call on the Lord at any moment. Never, not once. Never. When the Lord is the most powerful, He's the most high. I, they, they, no, I, I wouldn't know what else to do but call the Lord when shit happens. I have never called the cops. You know, hell no. Bro. Never, not once. Be out too much How can the cops time. save you? Right, right. If right, you're in that deep right. shit that you about to get fucked up, cops ain't gonna make it in time. Yeah, they, that revelation nice, man. What is that? that I don't old, know why I love that revelation so much. I know why. So the cops are pretty much useless. The, the only good they have is. They think that they're uh, they tell us. Or whatever you want to Money call collectors. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, no, 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 no. What do you call that? Uh, the, the people that the mafia sends out to collect their money. Oh, yeah, that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, what do they call them guys? Uh, loan sharks. Yeah, loan, loan sharks. sharks. Yeah. Well, they do the, well, you know, they do the work. They the muscle. The muscle. The muscle. Yeah. The muscle. Yeah. They just here to take your money, man. Yeah. 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 Look at this fine asshole. That's a nice one right there, boy. Uh, First Corinthians 16. Yep. First Corinthians. Oh, no, damn it. This is Romans. I hate when it had the Bible on the same page. And oh, yeah. It'd be, it be bent. It'd be tricking you. Yeah. I wish that was a bomb for, like, for real blowing motherfuckers up. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Yeah, anybody, that means anybody that teaching any way differently than us. Keep going. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shah, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And that goes to, that really goes to the politicians for real. I mean, it's really talking about the preachers and these people teaching false doctrines like Nathaniel 7. That, he like to give a uh, fair speech, you know what I'm saying? That's all them devils that in higher, higher ups. Well, yeah, especially Barack Obama, he give that fair speech. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? He's good as hell. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. Smooth. <laughs> what do you want? You want my number? That's what you want. If you don't want my number, we can't talk. All right? I, I, I look at women as sex objects. That's all they are to me. Yeah, that's exactly what they were created for. <laughs> that's exactly what they was created for. Damn, more Don't she over there waving at me? What, you want to fuck me? Nothing more I got nothing to talk to you. I'm not reading scriptures to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Only if she's extremely humble. Otherwise, I'm not taking you serious. Oh, shit. You can't take these hoes serious. They're silly as hell. They're silly. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's right. You see these That's silly right. ass bitches. Let me read silly. this for you. Here you go. This is Ezekiel 3 and um, 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I speak unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, thus said the Lord Power, whether they hear, whether they will hear or whether they will forbid. So we are here to teach the truth whether you're going to listen or not. That's right. 
It doesn't matter if you listen or not. We're okay? shoving it down your throat. We're, You're right. We're gonna force it on we're you. Throat fucking them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're mind fucking them. Throat fucking right. Same fucking shit. Same shit. Is that parable? Yeah. Right, right. I mean, we speak raw out here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These people, they savages. And we speak. They gotta speak the vulgar tongue. Cause we out here speaking. Yeah, you guys are the the offense, not us. This is an offense being a goddamn fact. This is an offense being a, an adulteress, a damn drug dealer, a child molester. Goddamn it, it's an offense, but they don't shoot goddamn foolish, lying, stuck, stupid, sleep. Look at that. Yeah, stupid, That's sleep. <laughs> that ain't enough words. A group of homos right there. That'd be a group of faggots standing on the corner. <laughs> you still got more to that? Yeah, that's it. We should be allowed to ride him over with a goddamn Coda bus. The Coda bus should do it. He should volunteer to do it. Right. You, see, you see what happened to uh, Serena uh, Williams, the tennis player? Oh, yeah. What Serena? Yeah. How she was stoned, like high out nah. of the court, throwing the ball up and <laughs> Really? Right. She was you fucked up on some video? Nah. Oh, man, you gotta see it, man. I gotta check it out. And she oh, lost man. the match, her match, and the doubles match. She was really fucked up, man. And then she had to quit. She had to quit. She's crying on the sidelines. Uh, and she was on something, man. She had to be on yeah, something. Yeah. She was on something. Yeah, that, she had actually them spirits on her. You gotta see the video. It's all over the net now, man. See, it was it? Huh? It just happened two days ago. Some soccer bitch? Uh, Serena Williams. Serena Williams. Oh, Serena Williams. The Williams. tennis player. Well, her husband's yeah. a goddamn Edomite. Uh, Edomite. Yeah, straight eating. Straight. So he's probably making her do weird shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I hope you don't get a curse on that camera. She was, she was like, she was fucked up like that. <laughs> no, I gotta see that shit. She yeah. was like, she was fucked up. Just happened two, three days ago. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I'm gonna I'm I'm look that one up. So many people watching the video, I didn't even that took forever to yeah, go. That's for sure. First Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seeming to be wise in this world, mm -hmm. Let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Foolishness. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, the Lord's wisdom. Well, no, what does it say? The Lord's, fo my fault. The Lord's wisdom. No, the Lord's foolishness. Right, it's the wiser Lord. than the wisdom of Yeah, that's what it says if you keep reading. You keep the reading. Lord's foolishness. <laughs> Where was you well, at? You go back to that. Oh, if yeah. we looking at First these people, yeah. go right, back we to looking that. at these people in a clear state of mind with open eyes as goddamn animals, then come on, how the Lord looking at them, man? Right. Because uh, what we're saying is foolishness compared to the Most High. Right, right. But it's on point. Yeah, because because <laughs> it's foolishness to these motherfuckers. Right, right. See, foolishness. Hold up, wisdom. Sounds like foolishness to a fool. Yeah, I was just on that scripture too, like Proverbs? five minutes ago. Proverbs? Proverbs, yep. I was just on that scripture. I'll go ahead, read, read that real quick. I'll start from the beginning. First Corinthians 3 and 18, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. Hold up, uh, keep going. Never mind, just keep, keep For going. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Yeah, keep going. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. They're vain. Therefore, let no man glory to men, for all things are yours. I got, I'll keep going. Oh, that's the point. Yeah, that's the point. I got, uh, that's not what I was looking for. There's another, I think it's in the first Corinthians first chapter. Let me read this one again. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of foolish man, when thou proceedest not in him the lips of knowledge. <laughs> yeah, we, so if we don't perceive the, the knowledge, yeah, we're gonna get away from your ass. <laughs> I gotta go, man. I can't. <laughs> my spirit, listen to this magic. Hey, here, hold this real quick. Right. Let me get it. I'm gonna see if I can find this scripture. I think there, I might. There's another one. On there's a, uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. And a just man. Proverbs 29 and 27. And an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is abomination mm. to the wicked. Right. Exactly what you're saying. They listen to us and we crazy. Foolishness. But you want to condemn 
a wicked man. They, man, what's wrong with you? You ain't supposed to be saying none of these people. It's foolishness to them to condemn wickedness. I got, let me read this real quick. First Corinthians uh, 1 and uh, 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Mm. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them to believe. That's right. Hold on, I got this more to this but I was going to bring out some, you remember that article I sent you? About how scientists just recently discovered a, a giant ocean in the Earth's core. Right, right. I was reading that all, too. All that was years, a spirit. We was both on all that too. All these years they said it was molten lava. Right, right. Now they're right. finding giant oceans, which confirms the the flood story. Mm -hmm. the, the flood story says that the Lord opened up the was that Genesis seven and eleven. Right, right. Did the Lord open up the fountains of the deep? <laughs> That's where the, the, the a lot of the flood water came from the sky too. But right. a lot of it came from from the the ocean right it, it, there was water there's water under the under the earth the lord opened it up yep so now like you got a lot of people starting to believe in the bible because of that yeah that's right that's right they said for the jews require a sign and the greeks seek after wisdom like back in ancient greece all they cared about was the uh, geometry and algebra and equations and astronomy you know what i'm saying right right just like today only thing people care about is programming and you know what I'm saying computer programming and all this man but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. That's what I want to get. <laughs> he said the right. foolishness of God. The foolishness. No, so, I mean, just That's me bad. meditate, bad. meditate yeah. on that. That's the, a bad scripture. Yeah. The foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that.